it's me again. We a few weeks ago did uh, some video, it was me really, I did some videos about the number pi. Now I do it again and we got these uh, results. The number pi was equals approximately to 4 over n times uh, square bracket 1 plus square root 1 minus 1 over n squared plus square root of 1 minus 2 over n squared plus uh, other terms uh, till square root of 1 minus n minus 1 over n squared uh, here I close this square bracket this was uh, this result was obtained when r was divided by n. Instead, when we divided r by 4, we got this result here. One, pi equals approximately, approximately to 1 plus square root 1 minus 1 fourth squared plus square root 1 minus 2 fourth squared plus square root 1 minus 3 fourth squared. And uh, these results were obtained, I remind you, from the outside. We, uh, we obtained the area of the quarter of the circle operating from the outside. Here, instead, we operate from the inside. And doing so, we can see what we get. A fourth equals to this area here, one fourth of square root of one minus a quarter squared by uh, Pythagora. So I obtain this area here in this uh, rectangle. The area of this other rectangle is one quarter times square root one minus two fourth squared. Two fourth it means this uh, this uh, this length here. Hmm? One is the ray minus squared uh, means one minus two fourth because it's the double one two fourth squared. And in the same way, I obtained the, this, the area of this third rectangle, which is one fourth times square root of one minus three fourth squared. And I stop here because here there is no uh, count of other rectangles here. So I, by approximation, I get a fourth of a circle of ray one. This uh, this way here. Of uh, a fourth is this this a approximation a four I put putting one fourth here outside in evidence I can say here I uh, do this operation and we have pi because you know pi fourth is equals a fourth and so pi equals approximately to square root of 1 minus 1 fourth squared plus uh, square root 1 minus 2 fourth squared plus square root of 1 minus 3 quarter squared. And uh, if we divide r by n instead of 4 as we did, we get pi 4 equals to approximately of course 1 over n uh, times square bracket square root 1 minus 1 over n squared plus square root 1 minus 2 over n squared plus uh, again plus at the end square root of 1 minus n minus 1 over n squared. It may be you didn't get this. Hmm? Uh, I was speaking about here, you see, 
uh, squared here. And here I have to close the bracket. I missed it. I didn't show you this. I, in case I repeat, repeat it again, if we divide r by n, we get pi fourth equals approximately to 1 over n times these things here, as I said before, i.e. pi equals to 4 over n, because I move 4 from here to here, square bracket, square root 1 minus 1 over n squared plus square root 1 minus 2 over n squared plus plus fit till here and here of course I have to close the square bracket and the last term here is square root of 1 minus n minus 1 over n squared and uh, now I call pi 1 the approximation of the number pi calculated from the outside which I did in the previous uh, videos and pi 2 the approximation approximation of the number pi calculated from the inside as I did now I hate um, to say uh, I can say this pi 2 is exactly this one and pi 1 is I can call pi 1 this one here this is pi 1 and this is pi 2 this one I do the difference between this and this and obtain exactly this pi 1 minus pi 2 equals to 4 over n which we can see that when we increase increase n the difference t uh, tends to zero hmm? it becomes near to zero so if I take uh, for example n equals to 1 million well I get that the difference is 4 over 1 million it, it can uh, uh, be made as little as we uh, wish which w is a good result of course to, to get a good uh, uh, for example to, to get to anyway it, it is acceptable and I have obtained a procedure which can be taught to the students even of the uh, the students that follow are uh, the eighth year of a uh, school so at the age of uh, around around uh, 14 but even to the age of 11 when we uh, provided that we can uh, make them understood uh, this, uh, these things here, the square root and also with the, the help of the uh, for the calculation with the help of a calculator but of course they must first of to have to understand what it means and uh, doing some examples of course as well well I stop here now about this uh, the theoretical uh, uh, aspects of uh, uh, the number pi and I promise you to come back again with the, about the calculation of the number pi with a, a very elementary method but this time it will be uh, how to say in a, a, about experimental way I will do uh, with using water and con uh, using water with the water so it will be something uh, mechanical a mechanical way to obtain the number pi which could be also quite interesting but this of course this experiment could be maybe interesting especially for boys of the age of 14 because 11 and also 11 but specifically for the age of 14 well thank you very much for 
following this uh, lesson, for listening to me again, and I hope to to provide you another video about this subject. Bye.